Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're gonna stay focused into the Bitcoin price because we have some very nice uh, price action going on. And uh, before we start with the content I have some little announcements to do. The first one is that I will try to make the videos shorter. So that means that I will split my videos. I will do most likely several videos per day. The first one, of course, is the main video in regards to Bitcoin. Then I will do a separate video for Ethereum and then maybe also a third one with some tutorials or other altcoins that I can cover because like that the videos will be shorter and also more focused so that's why it is very important my friends that you are subscribed here into this channel to be always up to date and also tick the little bell next to the subscription button because like this you will get always notified as soon as i upload a new video so i will do one video for bitcoin one for ethereum only and then most likely also a third one uh, with random altcoins or with some tutorials that might be helpful for you and uh, another little announcement that i have to do is this one over here i finally got my crypto.com debit card from visa so this is my first debit card from a crypto exchange and you can get it completely for free for everyone that wants to get such a debit card completely for free make sure to use my link down below here for crypto.com because like this you will get a free card which you can use of course for daily purchases so you can buy whatever you want with your cryptos and you also get rewarded in crow that is uh, the own a token from this exchange very similar like the Binance uh, coin from a uh, Binance so if you spend uh, some money here with this card you will get rewarded also in some uh, cashback and of course uh, the more you are staking here uh, the more rewards you get and also you can get for example free Spotify Netflix Amazon Prime and so on the more crows you are staking so currently I'm starting with the free version uh, I know there is also a card from Binance Coinbase and so on that might be better but currently in Switzerland it's only possible to get this from crypto.com so the one from Binance and Coinbase I'm still waiting to get because the more free cards that you can get the better my friends so why not go and take one as well it's completely for free there is no shipping costs or anything like this you can easily register with my link and then get the free card and if you want to stake some of these uh, crow coins uh, of course you will also get paid uh, if you're staking them uh, with some interest and at the same time also you get more cash back uh, the more you have and I think that is a quite nice uh, idea and feature here on uh, crypto.com. So if you want to take advantage, then make sure to use my referral link to sign up. And uh, like this, you can easily start. And here, of course, you can also um, buy and sell all the cryptos that you want. Currently, I just bought some of these uh, crow to start staking and get the better cards. But uh, for now, I'm happy with this uh, free card and I will uh, try it out and also uh, give you a review if you want about the crypto.com and also this free debit card. So maybe in the future, this is a very uh, nice feature that you can also take advantage of. So why not go ahead and take a free card It's completely for free, no costs. And we can start now with the content, my friends. We can start here in the four hour time frame on the Bitcoin price, because as you can see, Bitcoin is still trading around the 200 moving average here in the four hour time frame. We had right now two closes above this important moving average, so above $32,600. The only problem is that as long as we are not able to break out here to the upside from this resistance that we have right now at around $36,400. I cannot go completely in bull mode because we could be in this potential falling wedge and we could still head lower here before we're gonna see a breakout to the upside. So only if we are able here to start closing four hour candles above $36,600, I'm switching again in completely bull mode here. But as long as we're trading sideways within this potential falling wedge towards 20K, I'm still a bit cautious because 
we could see lower prices and therefore of course you could also buy cheaper in and also scale in some better long positions with better entry prices i still think that here we could revisit this twenty-eight thousand dollar area so the support that we have currently right now in this falling wedge but of course as soon as we're going to see a breakout here to the upside or a potential breakout to the downside here from the support then of course we could be in a bigger move and then it is good to open up a short position if you think the price will head towards 20k or a long position if we're starting to close for our candles at least here above $36,600. So the four hour in theory right now is starting to look a bit more bullish. We're trading above the 20 and 200 moving average. So we should expect continuation to the upside. Also the RSI currently is testing here the 50 level. And if we have a look here into the Bollinger Bands, you can see that also here we're trading on the bullish side. So if we can continue to close four hour candles above $32,700, we should be in theory again shifted to the upside and we should expect continuation towards $36,000. So watch out for the next moves here, my friends. And also if we have a look into the other indicators, they are all shifted to the upside. So the four hour is starting to look again more bullish. And before we go into the daily time frame, I just want to show you quickly the Bitcoin dominance here in the four hour, because currently it looks like that we could see a potential bounce here in this 63% uh, area. This is also where the 200 moving average is lining up. And yesterday I told you that most likely here, right at the 200 daily moving average, we're gonna see a bounce and the breather to the upside, which potentially could take us towards a nine and 20 daily moving average. So between here, 65 to 66%. And therefore I'm expecting some profits from some altcoins floating back into Bitcoin. If we're gonna see here a breather to the upside, it doesn't mean that this is the end of the alt season. It is possible that afterwards we continue to go lower here in the Bitcoin dominance and even maybe lose here the 60% support that we have in theory. So even though we could see here a breather to the upside, it's not yet clear if the altcoin season is already over or not. Potentially we're gonna continue to fall lower here, but this is what we're gonna have to see if we see a breather here to the upside towards these targets. So what I'm expecting here in the next couple of days is here the Bitcoin dominance to increase a little bit. And that's why I think the show will come back into the Bitcoin price here. And if here we're going to see a breakout to the upside, then for sure Bitcoin will outperform all the altcoins. So as it is right now, I'm expecting the Bitcoin dominance to rise a little bit higher. And the only problem that I have right now for a bullish breakout here to the upside is that we're still trading here below the nine daily and 20 daily moving average. So the nine daily right now is at $34,000. As you can see today, so far we came up here, we retested this moving average and we got rejected for now. So as long as we are closing daily candles below $34,000, I'm expecting to stay here between this moving average and the 50 right down here at the support of around $28,900. So as soon as we're gonna have a daily close above or below this moving average, I think there we could see a bigger move, but otherwise we most likely just gonna start to trade sideways within this range before we're gonna see the next big move. And even if we would have a daily close above the nine daily moving average, we still have the 20 daily right here at $36,000, right where our main resistance is lining up here from this potential falling wedge that we could create if we're gonna continue to go lower and lower here. And keep in mind that falling wedges are always bullish patterns during an uptrend. So even though the price could come lower here towards these 27,000 to 20K, at the end, we most likely gonna break out here to the upside. And that will be, of course, a very huge big move for the Bitcoin price to the upside, of course. So that's why I think most likely we're gonna stay within this range here for a couple of days or weeks before we're gonna see a huge breakout. So that's why right now in the daily time frame, I'm still a bit more neutral and we just have to wait here for daily closes above or below important supports and resistance levels. And if we go over into the daily time frame here in the Bollinger Bands, you can see that currently we're getting rejected from the nine daily moving average. So the first moving average here, and even though we could push higher, then of course here, this $36,000 could be a huge resistance. So watch out for these important 
price levels and also we have MACD and KSD still shifted to the downside that's why I'm still leaning a bit more bearish here that we most likely get rejected here or at $36,000 and then continue to move sideways here a bit more leaning to the downside before we're gonna see another big breakout to the upside and of course the stochastic is still in oversold condition so here we could maybe see a short lift breather to the upside towards $36,000 but if here we're getting rejected then be prepared to go lower here and stay within this range of this potential falling wedge that we are forming and now we can go also over into the weekly time frame because we have to update here these two important moving averages here first the nine weekly moving average which is coming up here at around twenty nine thousand dollar so in theory we should have a strong support right now at twenty nine thousand dollar and if we fall lower then watch out here for the 20 weekly moving average right at twenty thousand dollars so i don't think that bitcoin will ever go again below the 20 weekly moving average during this bull cycle so this price level in my opinion is really the worst case and why I think we could in theory reach even this level and break out here to the downside from this falling wedge is because currently we are still a bit overbought in the RSI we also got a confirmed sell signal in my own indicator in the weekly time frame and usually when this happened also in the past we always came down to the 20 weekly moving average we tested this important price level and moving average and then bounced again to the upside so that is the only reason why i think we could see a potential retest of this moving average right here at 20k and also see maybe a short lift breakout here to the downside from this falling wedge and then immediately bounce back up again so that could result in a big fake out and of course also for a nice retest of this 20 weekly moving average before we gear up for higher levels so watch out for that potential scenario my friends which in my opinion is still in the cards even though the chart of course is looking very bullish and bitcoin in the long term will go towards 100k and higher but just be prepared for that scenario that we could still come down to test the 20 weekly moving average which right now is exactly at twenty thousand dollar also here in the bollinger bands you can see that currently we're trading on the bullish side which of course is good but the retest of these two important moving averages here first the twenty nine thousand dollar and here the 20k area is definitely in the cards and you can also see that the stochastic now is coming very close to oversold condition so this is very very healthy my friends that we are cooling off the stochastic so much here almost to oversold condition in the weekly time frame so if we are coming down down to test these two important moving averages and also bring this stochastic into completely oversold condition and have there a bullish cross like we had over here then this could lead into a big big bounce and we will take out also this 42,000 all-time high that we had so far very quickly out and go towards higher levels so this is what I'm expecting to happen here in the next couple of days or weeks that we maybe come down here to cool completely off here the stochastic test the 20 weekly moving average 20k and then have a big b-shaped recovery to the upside that is really the best case scenario if we see a drop towards 20k which is still in the cards my friends the 20 weekly moving average is still at 20k so if you want to take some trades here on bitcoin over on bybit or femex where you can trade with leverage so even if we stay here trading sideways and bounce up and down here from support and resistance you can also do some nice gains if you're trading with leverage these swings but if you want to wait for the big move then wait till we're gonna see here a clear breakout and confirmation from the resistance that we have currently at thirty-six thousand dollar and the support at twenty-eight thousand because always when bitcoin makes big moves then of course you can do the most gains but if you want to do some daily trades then of course you can do that also over on bybit and femix with leverage because like this even if the price moves like one or two percent with leverage you can multiply your gains very easily like that and keep in mind if you still need an account over on bybit or femex use my referral links down below here to sign up to those exchanges no kyc nothing needed and you will also get some extra money if you use my links and on bybit we still have this special bonus going on where you can put this word jackpot over in the rewards hub and depending how much deposit you put there you can get up to 500 dollars in bonus and then also 20 dollars extra in coupon 
So if you're trading over on Bybit, definitely go and take this nice promotion that they have currently. And if you're completely new in the crypto space, check out Binance, Coinbase and Swissborg. Those are the recommended exchanges that I'm also using with my referral links. If you sign up to those exchanges, you will get some extra money. You can also claim some free altcoins and remember that on some of those exchanges for example on binance you have multiple ways to gain some extra passive money without doing anything for example on binance you have this earn feature where you can just keep your cryptos here in your savings account and you get paid daily with interests up to like seven or ten percent depending what coins that you're staking here so if you're just keeping them here on binance you will get some extra rewards some passive money without doing anything and of course same like on coinbase or swissborg you can easily buy all the cryptos that you want with your credit card or with your bank account so you can do everything within one exchange here it's even possible to trade with futures and also trade with leverage so you can do everything here you can even do peer-to-peer -peer transactions here so on binance you have really covered everything so try it out if you need still an account here on binance use my referral link you support the channel and before we wrap this up my friends a big shout out to our great discord trading chat community the chat is completely for free everyone is welcome you can just click here on the invitation link for discord and then you can join our great crypto chat where we can discuss together about Bitcoin, Ethereum, altcoins and so on, everything we can talk here about. And when you sign up, you just have to go first to the read first channel, then click here on the thumbs up to confirm that you are a human and not a bot. And like this, you are participating on our great crypto chat. And this is also the place where you can get access to my own indicator live stream. If you want to get access to this special indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin in different time frames, then contact me on Discord because like this, if you want to trade on a daily basis, and this is very, very useful. A little donation is needed, but like this, I'm sure that you can multiply your Bitcoins as well in a very fast way. So with that said guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. Thank you again very much for watching. Please hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos. We just have to wait where Bitcoin is going to close here in the next couple of days because we're still trading within this falling wedge potentially. So we are still trading sideways and we just need a little bit of more patience to see where the next big move will happen here in the Bitcoin price. So thank you again very much for watching and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye for now.